How to create and sell Shopify templates for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to go through the different requirements that are necessary for you to be able to sell templates on Shopify. Now, what are Shopify templates? How can you access them and how can you sell them? Let's jump right in. Now, Shopify has become one of the world's largest e-commerce platforms where people are building stores every day. And Shopify has a large gallery of templates that people are using. To access this gallery, you can go into online store and under your store, you will have themes. By default, you will have the Dawn theme, which is created by Shopify and is available for free. But not everyone wants to use the Dawn theme because it's so generic. If you scroll down, you can explore some other free themes. But if you click on visit theme store, you will actually see that Shopify has a really large directory and marketplace for themes. I'm just going to log on to my Shopify dashboard to show you guys the themes. So these are all the different themes. There are over 240 kinds of themes where 13 are free and 227 themes are paid themes. You can explore the free themes which are provided by Shopify, but if you look at the paid themes, you will see they are a bit elevated. They have unique elements and they are just providing something fresh and different that is not already present in the basic Shopify store themes. So with these themes, they are selling upwards of $400. Some are, you know, $100, $200, $300. The pricing varies. Uh, usually some of the most expensive ones are $400. None of them I have seen that exceed that particular price point. And you can see the reviews for most of these themes are pretty great considering these are, you know, luxury themes. Now, as a developer, you can sell your own themes on the Shopify theme store. However, there is a stringent criteria you need to fulfill before you can do so. So if you want to start selling, you can go on ahead and become a Shopify partner. Shopify has their partner program, which is the ecosystem built for business growth. And you can see you have multiple different revenue streams and you can access the growing demand and leverage rapid innovation. If you include new features, applications in your themes, your themes can become super popular because sellers are always looking for a unique way to get their store looking different and make, making their own store stand out. So simply head on over to shopify.com slash partner and then click on become a partner. From there, you're going to sign on to become a Shopify partner. You can log on to your Shopify account or create a brand new one. I am just going to be logging on to my partner account on Shopify. You just need your email address for this. There's no other type of information you're going to need and you can create your own partner organization. Now, once you do that, you will see on the left, you have your home. Then you have any stores that are using your theme. Then you have referrals, apps, themes, and Shopify point of sale. So whenever you are building a theme, you also should create a development store, which is basically going to serve as a way for people to view how your theme is going to function. You can even build a development store for a client and transfer it for commissions or to test apps and themes with different build previews and data. Then if you click on apps on the left, you will be able to see any apps that you want to sell if you are looking to extend your basics beyond just building themes. And then we have our basic section, which is theme selling. So if you go on to themes over here, you can start building and selling your own theme and you can see they have multiple different resources and you can submit your themes for a review. Keep in mind that just because you created a theme and you submitted it does not mean that Shopify is going to accept it. You have to submit it for a review and if Shopify considers the theme to be nice enough, then it's, then it's going to be included in the Shopify marketplace. Now, how do we know if our theme is actually nice enough? Well, for that, you can go into the Shopify theme store requirements and Shopify has made it abundantly clear on what type of themes they are looking for, what are the requirements, the testing and review process. So starting off, the theme store needs to be exclusively 
selling that theme. Any theme that is present on the theme store must be exclusive and it cannot contain external marketing materials. So merchants can continue to benefit from the highest quality themes. So they can only be distributed through the Shopify theme store and themes on the Shopify theme store cannot contain designer credits such as a link to a theme developer's website or any affiliate links in any of the theme files. Then the second requirement is that it needs to be unique from any other theme. The code base must have meaningful differences. The identity of your theme submission should be unique. It should have a clear industry focus. Who is this theme targeted to? The theme should have inventive art direction that distinguishes from other themes. It should have a cohesive look and feel across all templates. For example, your product pages, home page, collection page, blog page, search page, cart, all of it needs to look like it was built within the same aesthetic, within the same branding, because if it does not feel cohesive, it's not going to look good. Then it should offer unique customization options or functionality from other themes. Just because it looks different does not mean that it's going to be added to the theme store. It needs to have some type of unique selling point in terms of functionality or customization, which is going to set it apart from other themes. Then a merchant shouldn't be able to purchase your theme or uh, another theme that's listed in the Shopify theme store and then customize the setting so that the themes are almost identical and i've seen a lot of people saying that you should just go into shopify download your current theme file and then just customize a tiny bit of it and then re-upload it for submission on shopify and you know upload that as a theme and that's not going to work that's just a way for you to get blacklisted as a shopify partner because if your theme is so similar to another one where a tiny string of code can make them exact duplicates, Shopify is never going to accept that theme in their store. Below that, you have features. So there needs to be certain features. There's a list of features that needs to be included, including sections, discounts, accelerated checkout buttons, faceted search filtering, gift cards, image focal points, images for social sharing, country selection, language selection, multi-level menus, newsletter forms, pickup availability, related product recommendation, complementary product recommendations, rich product media, search box, selling plans, shop pay installments, unit pricing, variant images, follow on shop. These are all the basic theme sections that need to be present in any Shopify theme, whether it is, you know, very specific to a specific industry like software development, or if it's for, it's a consulting based theme, whether it's a product based theme, whatever industry it is targeted to, these are the minimum requirements. Then below that, you have your theme support requirements. So in this, this is just your template support requirements, and then you have Lighthouse performance performance and accessibility. So it needs to have a minimum average of Lighthouse performance score of of 60 and then Lighthouse accessibility score of 90 across all pages on both desktop and mobile devices. Then it needs to have well-designed pages that people can customize. And then you have collection page and each individual pages requirement. You can go through this article in detail because it lists everything your theme needs to have and I do recommend going through it before you start building because this gives you a better idea and structure of how you should be building your theme so that it is accepted and can be sold on the Shopify marketplace. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.